one. It's about half six. And I must say, last night I had an amazing kit. Um, it was pretty windy, so I've got the earplugs in. And that was me gone, out of the count. So, yeah, really needed that. Couldn't have survived today on five hours, so I think. Definitely got in eight hours, woke up a couple of times with a bit of a dead shoulder. Anyway, yeah, big day today, 20 miles. Um, my feet are recovered, which is good. So, no aches and pains. Um, no blisses to report, but I'm giving my feet a bit of an inspection before um, we set out. So, let's have a look, see what today's bringing. yesterday but I just uh, had to wipe the tent over. Right, right let's get brew on and let's get out of here. There we go, all packed up. Just the usual fat black grass. And that's the only thing I've left. So, my morning stroll takes me up there. Steak Gill. I'm sure there'll be some amazing views at the top, so I'll bring you back when I'm there. Oh yes, done it. Ah, oh, that is definitely a wake up call. First thing in the morning. It's taking about half an hour to get up there. But I've done it. Turn you around. You can't really see it all, but hopefully from the shots before, you can see the valley. It's just stunning. A word that could be overused over the next couple of days. But I'm going to um, got a water source here. So I'm going to fill up, fill some more water, have a good guzzle, and then crack on. There we go, that's where we're heading, all the way through the valley. So I'm currently on State Pass, and you can kind of see the winding footpath zigzagging down the side of the mountain. So I very much like being in the Alps, but um, you never get a car down here. So they cut the walkers, and you can just see them down there, on their way down as well. And um, yeah, that's where I'm heading. Started. 
nice and neat. It's a bit warmer today. I might even have a dip. Here comes a bit of sunshine. Very nice. Nearly through. So straight ahead, stone throw fell. That is white bread. And over on my right is evil bread. Well, it's turned into a an amazing day. It's a nice gentle breeze, the sun's out, and um, yeah, I'm five miles in, and um, my next kind of like stop point will be Rossweight, and um, I'll probably just grab a coffee and just chill out for a few minutes there, so that's about another mile and a bit. And, um, oh, this morning's just been spectacular. Absolutely brilliant, seen a lot of walkers. There's a campsite just here, um, looks like, quite a few tents probably maybe a dozen tents or so so i think i'll um keep an eye on that one that won't be one to visit in the future because the views are just amazing all the mountains completely encapsulated by the craggy kind of mountains so i'll crack on and um see you in a bit I've just come across something very cool. I've seen it on other YouTubes. But I don't know if you can make a note of what it was. I'll just have a look at the map. It doesn't seem to remain for it. But it's pretty damn amazing. I was wondering I'm hoping the film really does it justice. It's pretty damn spectacular. I wonder who E plus M are. Only those squirrels are there. Do you the scale of that? It's insane. So 
So, I thought it was about time. Better chat. I'm on mile 10, um, day three. And um, so far, so good. So, I can't remember, because you get a bit delirious after a while. I can't remember what I've said and what I haven't said. Sorry if I'm repeating myself, but feet are doing all right. I've got a couple of little blisters, but they've they're kind of superficial really, isn't it? Um, body's okay, doing all right, I suppose. But it's young, 30 year old, not. But yeah, so far so good. But again, the views are just breathtaking. Absolutely wonderful. Really thoroughly enjoying this. There's actually a lot more ascent than I thought there would be. But um, with the ascent comes a descent. And um, yeah, it's cracking. Really enjoying it. That's where I'm heading. So you probably can't make it out because it's just behind the trees. And if you can. That is Doan Water, and that is, um, I guess, the beginning of the end, if that makes sense. So I think once I hit Durban, Durban Water, just a nice um, casual stroll up the left-hand side, the kind of westerly side, and, um, and then Keswick's, obviously a town, right at the top, Durban Water, on the northernmost coastline, shoreline. It's called a lake. Shore. Do you call it shore edge? I don't know. Bambling now. I'm going to say babbling properly. Um, yeah, so that's where I'm heading. for a bite to eat, it's kind of up to three o'clock and um, probably stop for an hour, just give my feet a bit of a break and um, bite to eat and I'll crack on for the next couple of miles. So I'm just leaving Keswick now and um, you know how you get those moments when you kind of have this vision in your mind and nothing else will do, well mine was Nice greasy burger, some fries, and a pint. Now you think, wouldn't you? Somewhere like Keswick, that'd be pretty easy to get. But I went round every single pub, lunch serving, 12 till 2.30. Missed it by 20 minutes, absolutely gutted. So, did feel like a little bit like Joseph. No room at the inn. And um, I was settled for, wait for it, a meatball and cheese panini, which was very nice actually, but I suppose anything would have tasted nice. A cup of tea and a Bakewell slice, so <laughs> it was a bit gutting. That's a bit of a come down, isn't it, from um, burger chips and a pint, but hey, I'm refueled, I'm back on the road, and um, five miles more to do and uh, I'll be pitched up with some proper food. Well, not actually proper food, more like another dehydrated meal. So, I'll, um, this is me leaving Keswick over and out. So the walk from Keswick the Skiddle House is brutal. It's just a very, very long and slow ascent. And it's knackering, absolutely knackering. 
it's worth it for the views. That is banging. What a cracking day it's been. Bit of a grey cloud over there, but um, nice blue sky that way. Let's crack on. That's where I'll come, and that track, nearly there. So if you can see that, I don't know if the camera's going to be able to pick it up because of the lighting. That is Skiddle House, and that's roughly where I'm heading. So when I get a bit closer, I'll look somewhere to pitch up and um, get my shoes off. Planted. Nobody home tonight by the looks of it. Looks like it's, um, it says on the notice board it's only um, available for bookings, group bookings. So I found a spot, it's just about there. It's like a very, very small flat spot, but when you've got views like that, who cares? Let's get the turn out. So all set up, just had a coffee, my dinner is now on, I've got the something to eat beef stew with potatoes, looking forward to that. I must admit it's um, it's pretty mad because you do all that walking, you burn off all those calories and you're so knackered when you get back to, um, to your tent that, um, well, this is me. I just didn't really feel like eating but I know I've got to because um, I just have no energy in the morning so... Um, all you want to do is just like close your eyes and go to sleep but I'll try to keep myself awake um, it's still pretty early it's now 20 to 8 the sun's just gone down the uh, cloud cover is just rolling in over the hills and um, yeah I'm going to tuck into my tea chill out, listen to some music and um, have an early night so catch you in a bit so I'm all fed and watered just been chilling for about an hour and um, I think it's time to turn in now. Uh, the wind has picked up a bit, which is kind of nice because the, um, the midges were just horrible, brutal. Yeah, They're, um, they get everywhere, literally everywhere. So thankfully that wind has just kind of blown them away and um, hopefully I can sleep in a bit of peace tonight. So I'm really chuffed with today, um, 20, just over 20 miles. Um, so day one was 15, day two 21, today's 20, so you know, no mathematician, but 56 miles, pretty good in three days. Um, it's supposed to be a 70 mile walk, but I suspect it's going to be more than that, so I've just kind of plotted the final day, or the final kind of part of the route on my OS maps, and it's saying 25 miles from here to Carlisle, so... The dilemma I've got is, if I try and smash that out tomorrow, by the time I get to Carlisle, probably the trains into London, I'm not going to get into London until midnight, and um, and then back home from um, from London. So I could be stranded in London overnight, which um, 
I don't really want to do, but we'll see how we get on. I may just do kind of 15 miles tomorrow, maybe 20, um, and just kind of leave it short. So just so I've got a few miles to do in the morning on, on Tuesday morning, um, but we'll see how we get on. But anyway, really chuffed. Um, the legs are holding up. I have got blisters, which are causing me a bit of discomfort, but you know, it's just superficial. Um, but yeah, really, really pleased. Um, body and mind in good working order. And um, on that note, I'll say good night and I'll see you tomorrow. Ciao. Morning guys. Today is Monday and it's around 6.30, uh, been up about 10 minutes. So today could be the last day or it could be the penultimate day, I'm not quite sure yet. I'll um, <clears throat> got some miles to munch, let's see how it goes. But slept pretty well last night, um, probably got a good seven or eight hours in. Um, nice and comfy. It's quite a big difference actually, uh, a bit higher up here at Skiddle House. Just the altitude, definitely a lot cooler this morning than it was yesterday. So a um, bit of a chill, one might say. But nevertheless, still slept really, really well. And um, my body was crying out for a good sleep and it got it. So let's have a quick look outside. See the sun starting to break through on that far side, in our dreams. But yeah, not bad waking up tonight. So I'll get a coffee on, and then get packed up, and then I'll be heading out of here. So there we go, all packed up, ready to go. And I'll say goodbye, Skidore House. I don't know if you can see, but I nearly need to get out of here. The midges are rife. They are everywhere. Swarms and swarms of them. So I just want to get marching and get a bit of breeze from here and get rid of this bug net. So I'll catch you in a bit. views are just amazing. Oh, I'm sure I've said that a thousand times so far. They truly are really, really beautiful. So, I've got this um, very gradual ascent, and I've got to do a cheeky right turn in a minute, go a mammoth ascent up to the um, summit of Pipe Pike. So I think that's 658 metres. I'm not looking forward to, but I think it's my last major one before I kind of start to dive down in the flatlands towards Carlisle.
Oh, it's good to get out of that clag. You can see it, miserable, properly brutal. Peeing it down, windy, horrible. That's what I've got to look forward to. So I've hit in the valley and uh, essentially uh, hopefully it'll be somewhere I can get a break. Shy girls, come on, let's hear it. Well, that was a banging lunch. It has to be said. I've been craving a burger and a beer for the last two days, and my wish was granted. And um, what an outcome! It's fantastic. So, I highly recommended pub in Corbeck. Wonderful. Right, on to Carlisle. So, I didn't really know what to do today whether to beast it and get to Carlisle and try and get the last train to London or whether just to go halfway house find somewhere maybe even a B&B &B, just chill out get an early train in the morning or do a short walk in the morning and um, get a train in the morning but I'm a man on a mission really enjoyed it and decided the um, Cumbrian way in three and a half days that ain't that bad, is it? So let's see how we get on. So, we'll be saying goodbye now to Lake District Natural Park. Been epic. Absolutely amazing. Far better than I could ever have imagined. So, see you again soon. Oh, the body is all right. The mind is all right. Feeling motivated. My feet are absolutely screaming at me now. So, got about 10 miles to go and about four hours. And I'm incredibly determined to get to Carlisle and get a train tonight. I've undenied about it, but that is my goal. Had my mission and um, just got to do it. Just got to do it. So, on my right, this is the River Cal. Cal can't even say it. This is the River Calbec. That's it. Um, this will be my companion for a few miles. I think actually might even run train to um, Carlisle itself, so. So it should be good. So we've just gone through a field, a load of cows and all sat down. So I believe that it's gonna rain. Um, looking at the horizon, it's starting to darken up. So, I have to get the um, water boots at the ready 
and get them on. I don't want to be sitting on the train soaking wet. So, I'm about three miles, three and a half miles from Carlisle and um, I'd give my closing comments. Oh, cyclist. So, it's been over 70 miles. I don't know what the final count is yet, but it's gonna be probably nearer 75. So, um, if you're um, looking to do the Cumberland Way, don't kid yourself, because it ain't 70. Even though all the guidebooks tell you it is, um, it's not. So what's worked and what hasn't? My kit has been amazing. My rucksack, my sleep system, my food, it's all kind of worked out perfectly. Sorry, filter kit, that's been a godsend. Um, that's one kind of major tip, stay hydrated, it makes a huge difference. The clothes I've worn, um, really, really good. I actually wore trousers, I saw quite a lot of people wearing shorts. I did um and ah about shorts, but I've only got a trousers in the end. The only slight criticism I've got is maybe my footwear. So I went for trail runners, and yes, they have been comfortable. Yes, they've been superb. Yes, they've got soaked, and they've dried out really quickly. But I think for the um, sort of stone cobbled footways through Lake District, could have probably done with a bit of stiffer sole, but that's one minor grumble. But all in all, it's been a fantastic walk. I'm sure it'll be the first of many. Thoroughly enjoyed it. It's been a major achievement. So if you're planning or thinking about doing the Cumberland Way, absolutely go for it. The terrain, the scenery, the landscape is just something else. It is the best of what the British Isles has to offer. Some of it's been tough. It's certainly not for the faint-hearted. The ascent this morning up to um, High Pike, that was pretty gruelling and um, ended up a couple of times knee deep in peat bogs. But um, still alive, still smiling and um, Oh, so glad I did it that way. South to north, for me, you're just cool. North to south, wouldn't have fancied coming down there after the rain this morning, but hey, each to their own. So, I'll put you down now, and um, I'll bring you back when I hit Carlisle. done it. 75 miles, Cumberland Way. Get in. I've done it. Bloody done it. Oh. Oh. There she is. Resting place with my feet. Sadly it's closed so I can't sign the book. But if you're listening, there we go, bang on six. If you're listening, anyone from the Carlisle Visitor Centre, we're sending you a picture. It's proof that I've done it from start to finish. Smashed it. Yes, come on. Well chuffed. That's over the moon. Now I've got to find the bloody station. And I really don't want to walk there. Is there a taxi anywhere? Let's get home. Hope you guys have enjoyed the journey. It's ups and it's downs, it's highs and it's lows. But we did it. We did it together. And I finally made it. So, as always, I hope you liked the video. I'd love it if you could hit the like button, 
and if you want to see more content hiking through hiking and while camping hit that subscribe button and until next time take care stay safe and i'll see you soon